Hello everyone, welcome back to Lost Alpha. My current quest is to go to Dark Delina and talk with the scientist, which is up here in the top left. And I'm all the way down here in the bottom right. It's very far away. But thankfully, I have a car. The thing is though, I'm not actually sure if I can take my car the entire way. I don't know if it's going to fit through everything. Some places might require you to go on foot. But anyway, I'm going to head up here to the Dark Valley, then I'm probably going to shoot over to Garbage. And then I guess I'll probably go up to the Great Metal Factory? Not quite sure, I haven't gotten that far yet. Normally, on such a journey, I would cut out the entire trip. But, since I have this lovely new car, I think I'm going to drive it. What do I have in it again? Crap ton of weapons. Alright, and some of my supplies. And a spare petrol can. Alright, let's get going. I just love the fact that I have a car. It's... Oh, it's amazing. It's so cool. Alright, let's turn around. Let's do a little bit of coasting. Save some fuel. Plus, honestly, the faster you go, the more dangerous it is to drive. Damn. A couple leaves just slowed me down. I guess this thing is as light as a feather. Not a lot of mass. I really can't get over the fact that I'm actually driving a car. Like, it's just so cool. I'm driving a car in a stalker game. I'm driving a car in a stalker game. I'm actually driving a car in a stalker game. What the fuck? Um. What the fuck? Okay, nothing to worry about. Everything is fine. <laughs> what the hell was that? I know I kind of touched one of those anomalies, but the effect is localized to where the anomaly is. It shouldn't stick with you. What the fucking hell? Okay, note to self. Anomaly physics, when intersecting with car physics, are buggy. Holy shit. Hold on, I, I think I need to do an inspection. How you doing, old girl? Well, actually, you're not old at all. How you doing, young girl? That sounds creepy. Okay. Okay. I think that's an artifact. What was that? Hmm. Might have been the slime. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, uh, that was interesting. That was that was very interesting. I would rate that experience. A um. A holy shit out of oh my god. That's what I would rate it. Okay, well my car is a little bit damaged, but only a little bit. It's, it's perfectly fine. That's quite enough excitement for one day. I think I'm good. Jesus, Jesus Christ, calm down. You really don't want to go too fast. You really don't. They're kind of bouncy. It feels like they don't have as much mass as they should. was a gun on the ground. Hi, military. Bye, military. Oh, didn't want to put my wheel inside of the acid pit. I think it just melted a bit.
Yeah, this really goes to show just how expansive the universe is in Lost Alpha. I mean, this is taking quite a while just to get to the next zone, and I'm in a freaking car. Jesus! What the hell? Oh, no. Shit. All I did was try to stop and my car flipped. Can, can I even get out? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can... May oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I turned my wheel, which propped me up. Wow, you got to be really careful when driving a car in this game. Very, very, very careful. Top, top speed is not a good thing. Do not go top speed. Something tells me I'm going to have to come back here for a new car pretty soon. Because I haven't even left the zone, and look at everything that's happened. Alright, let's see if I can keep this... Extremely dangerous, floaty vehicle of doom from exploding in my face. Oh man, it's smoking, even though it's barely hurt. <laughs> Stretchy polys. Okay, back... Oh, that's where you want me to go? Okay, I don't know if I can... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, never mind. That is, that's kind of where I was going to go anyway. Let's see if I can actually take that in a vehicle, though. I don't know. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. There are NPCs in here, friendly ones. Let me see if I can sell all my guns to them. Ah, uh, not gonna fall for this again. I know the entrance is over here. I might not remember how to tie my shoes, but I sure as hell know where an entrance is. Alright, any of y'all rich? Good day, Dave Edwards III. You're not rich. I'll take your, uh, thingy, though. Самые ленивые это торговцы. Я вот знаю одного. Так он специально. All right, maybe this more important guy has more money. Five thousand. Eh. Well, I'll sell some of my. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. You know, I'm gonna hold on to them. Actually, somebody was telling me that if you sell stuff to Petranko, he actually gives you more money than the traders do. So maybe I'll wait until I see Petrenko, or at least just compare prices. So he gave me about 2,000 for... That guy back there gave me, was going to give me about 2,000 for this thing, I think? Yeah. Oh! Shit. Okay, we're getting out of here. eats through fuel like there's a freaking fuel leak. Okay. Uh, let's go off-road. It is a jeep. It should be able to take it, but I'm not going to go too fast. This is going to be my top speed. I wonder if they can damage the vehicle. It seems really dangerous. I could easily fall into a pit of doom. Okay, can I go through here? Yeah, I think I can. Looks passable. Okay, there we go. Sweet. I am pretty sure there are some places you can't take it, though. 
some places I'm going to have to go on foot. I don't like that. I don't relish the thought of going on foot. But of course, I've been doing it for the entire game up until this point, so, you know, how bad could it be? Oh god, navigating this is going to be a nightmare. Oh god. In some ways, having a vehicle is kind of a burden. I wish I could go to third person right now. It's a tight fit. I can do it. <laughs> there we go. Holy crap. Get me out of here. I'm almost to the road. Uh, shit. No, that... What the hell am I on? Okay. Okay, calm down. I actually haven't saved in a while. I feel like my car could just, like, go shooting up into the air at any moment. Yeah, this is maybe not the best route to take to get to garbage. Um... Wait, don't tell me the only way out is through this gate. Cuz... It's gonna be a problem. What the hell? The engine stopped. Oh my god. If I have to go back to go to another entrance to garbage, I'm gonna be very annoyed. Let me out of here. That's the only way out, isn't it? I think that's the only way out. I think I'm gonna have to go back and find another way to get to garbage. Hmm. Okay, well, here's a way. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that's doable. No problem. Okay. Learning the ropes of uh, owning a new vehicle. God damn it, the engine keeps stopping. Gotta get turned around. <laughs> now, for my next trick, I'm gonna parallel park. Okay, calm, calm down, calm down. Sink into the water. I think we made it. Uh. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay. This thing needs more fuel. And I need food. And water. Take some more with me. Pick up the fuel. Whoa. Bouncy. Refuel. There we go. Let's see how much fuel that gave me. Full tank. Okay, cool. And what about repair? I think I need something for that, right? Or did that just... Does that just instantly fix it? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> you don't even need a wrench. You just instantly fix the car. I guess I've got uh, magic hands. Okay. Alright. Well... It's a little bit of a rough beginning for this car, but, uh, still worth it. Let's make sure I don't run them over, because they kind of like me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me? Okay. You know, while I'm here, I probably should sell my weapons to Petranko. 
Although there's no reason I have to, because I don't actually need money. I mean, I'm doing fine on supplies. Yeah, I've got plenty of food and water in the back, medkits and all that. Um, good. Um, I guess I could use ammo. Wait, wait, no, the rest of my ammo's in the back of this thing, right? Yeah, no, never mind. I got I got tons of stuff here. There's really no reason to sell all my stuff. I'm good. Okay, where to next? There. <laughs> I don't I really don't think I'm gonna be able to drive there. But let's try. I could also buy a petrol can to stuff in the back of this thing. I think I just killed one. It's a very quiet car. And it was stopped by a bush. Come here. There we go. I probably killed it, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Things are getting tight. Let me help you with that. Shit, I think I'm stuck in the body. Um, this is a problem. Oh, oh god, watch out, dude. Dude, dude, watch out. Holy shit. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I can really bring this car in here too much. I might be able to get it to the bar entrance. In fact, I'm sure... Whoa. Don't hit the tree. I'm sure I can, but... I don't think I can actually get it to where I need it to go. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it good here. This bouncy rubble is uh, not great, and these places are piled high with garbage. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. Which, you know what, since I am fairly close to Petranko, and I do want to put some more gas in this thing. And I'm curious what his prices are like. I'm actually going to ferry the weapons back and forth. So I'm going to do that... And, uh, well, I'm gonna cut here, so I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. I went ahead and sold all of the weapons inside of here. Except for this, which for some reason Petrenko would not take. I don't know why. Maybe he doesn't take modified weapons? I don't know why he wouldn't, though. But, yeah, he wouldn't take that, but I sold all the other weapons, and I made a very good profit. And yes, it is true, if you sell weapons to Petrenko, he pays you way more. He pays you way more for everything, not just weapons, than the traders. Or at least the main trader at the bar, you know, the bar guy. Way, way more, like, almost three times more. The bar guy would give me about 800 for one of those weapons, but Petranko gave me about, uh, about 2300. So, huge difference. Sell your stuff to Petranko. Do not sell it to the bar guy. So, I've gone ahead and done that, and... Well, as you can see, I have quite a bit of money. 35,000. And that's with having spent a lot of that on some supplies as well. I bought more ammo, just to make sure I don't run out. So I have what I have on me right now, as well as all of this in the trunk. I bought four gas cans. And I think that's it as far as stuff I bought. And some uh, energy drinks, of course. Always gotta have my drugs. So yeah, this uh, vehicle is my base camp, basically. I'm just gonna live out of it. But, for now, unfortunately, I have to leave it behind, because it is not safe to drive it through here. So let's move on up here, and it should take me to Lake Yantar. I'm not missing important stuff, am I? You know what? I should actually grab some of the ammo before I go. Alright, my supplies are situated. Let's head on over. Almost there. Oh, crap, I think the bandits are back. Hmm. I'd like to just go past them. But they have a way of seeing you. Especially when it's daylight. Alright, I'm just gonna run. Okay. Made it. 
Here we go. A new zone. What's it going to look like? I wonder if this even existed in the old stock area. I'm really having a hard time remembering what is, what's old and what's new and what's changed. Damn it, I hear rats. Aw, rats. Okay, well, what I'm seeing on the map does not look familiar. But maybe I just forgot. Uh, excuse me, sir. I know you're very focused on your job, but you are being slowly killed by a rat. Okay, what are they looking at? They're friendly, or neutral at least. And they're pissed off by something. What? What's going on? Motherfucker! There we go. Hey, doggy. Whoa, dude, watch your fucking aim. He just shot me in the ass. Come here. Well, that takes care of that. Never mind. Ooh, ribs. Bake them over the fire, get some nice barbecue sauce. Mmm. Okay, well, that was strange. It was very, very strange. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to standard rounds, because I feel like fighting mutants is gonna be more likely than people. Let's uh, switch it to automatic. Okay. Now, who are you people, and why are you suddenly green? Apparently they really, really like me. Is it because I shot a rat? Oh, no. What happened to you? Oh, you're a stalker. Here, have a first aid kit. There you go, buddy. I can steal his weapon right from under his feet. Nah, I won't. Maybe I should see if I can talk to them, though. I wonder if they'll have a mission for me. I'm looking on the map. It looks like they're... Uh, I think there's one guy inside. Yeah, there you are. Oh, they're still freaked out about something. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is going on with you guys? Did they just die to getting nibbled on by rats? Выручайте! They better be awfully grateful. I'm their freaking lord and savior. The master rat hunter and dispenser of medkits. There's nothing out there. What are you looking at? You guys are fucking crazy. I, I don't know what the hell's up with them. They don't seem to be much for conversation, though. Let's see if there's supplies up here. Wait, are you dead? He actually died. To, to what? Okay, they're shooting something. Did you just say grenade? I, I don't know what the hell they're doing. These guys are fucking nuts. Are they just shooting dogs? Is that it? What's going on out here? Supplies? Bandages. I don't really need them, but who cares? I'm a hoarder.
Alright, you guys are still freaking out, huh? There's still something over there. Okay. Let's uh, stand my watch on the wall. Oh shit, are those bandits? I think those are bandits. They are. That's what you're shooting at. They're not even like shooting back at you. These are the dumbest stalkers I have ever seen in my life. He just tried to use shot rounds in a shotgun from like 300 feet away. Oh my god. Oh, let me show you how it's done, okay? This is how it's done. Switch to single shot. Armor piercing. Look. Okay. W watch and learn, guys. Watch and learn. See? Don't even need a crosshair. You guys good? Okay, now they're nice and calm. Jesus Christ. I'm too far away from my car to really be hoarding weapons, so I'm not going to take their weapons. They're not even very valuable. They're very low-quality stuff. Simple shotguns and crappy pistols. I'll gladly take their money, though. And their energy drinks. Okay, can I talk to you now? How, how's it going? No idea what he just said. I'm going to assume it's... You are my one and only messiah. Thank you for saving my life. I am stupid and I am your disciple. Here you go. Tell me something interesting. Something strange is going on. The zombies that used to be afraid to go into the light are now trudging around all over the place. What the hell is that all about? I don't know. Something interesting? Nothing interesting. Okay, well. Yeah, this. That sounds like a zombie, but I don't see it. Why do I hear zombies, but I don't see them? Hmm. Back to automatic. Normal rounds. Yeah, I don't recognize this place. I think it's entirely new. Very, very military and scientific, though. Like, it's a whole complex here. wonder what's inside of it. wonder how you get inside of it. It's damn well fortified. That's a nice wall. They're green to me. Oh, they're duty, right. Duty love me, because I help them. Oh, here we go. That was easy to get inside of. Damn, look at this place. Might need to go in here for something at some point. Continue on. Gotta follow the road up to this place, I suppose. Is that an artifact? Ah, <sighs> yes. Any more? This place is crawling with anomalies and zombos. Hmm. 
<laughs> safest way to go looks like straight in the water. See if it's radioactive. Doesn't seem too deep. No, okay. That's fine. Some serious gunfire over this rise here. Or over this ridge, rather. Meat chunk. Plus 10% health. Ah, not bad. I don't like the negatives, though. A little bit too extreme. Let's get a look at what's going on. Maybe we can render aid. Oh, they're shooting the zombies. Oh, someone's inside of the home. Okay, don't shoot. I'm coming in. Oh! Welp, I just tried to save a bandit. Whoopsie. <clears throat> Crap, when was my last save? I don't actually remember when I saved it last. Where am I? Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's not too far back. I'll be right back in just a second when I have the artifact again. Okay, here we go again. I just grabbed the artifact. Let's see what happens to this zombie when it walks into the anomaly field. Okay, angered it and then killed it. I'll take it. Let's see if I can go pay some revenge on that bandit. Let's see if he's still... Oh, yep, yep, yep. He's still there. Okay. Mr. Shooty Pants. Go single shot. There we go. One shot, one kill. Okay, there's two of them, so there could be more. Oh yeah, there's more. The bandits are trying to take over this town and own it. Let's loot the body before the zombies get here. You know, I am about to go talk to a scientist. It, it is possible I could probably sell my stuff there. I suppose I should take the. Should probably take the weapon. Shit. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god! <laughs> Good game. That bandit had a very, very itchy trigger finger. Holy shit. <laughs> I was moving in all close just because I kind of wanted to get up in their face. But, uh, to be honest, the safest thing to do is actually to stay far away, because my weapon is excellent at long range. Theirs are not. You know, theirs are fairly low quality. They don't have very good accuracy. So I should probably stay far away. Okay, so there's a whole hell of a lot of them. Inside of the house? Alright, there's two. There's a bunch over there. They don't seem to know I'm here, though. Which is excellent. Ooh, another one. Gravi. Two percent rupture protection. That does not sound good at all. 
some more further in the distance. There's got to be more around here, though, because there were a bunch before. See, I'll just take this rifle, leave everything else, because I think I'm going to get to sell this stuff when I get to the scientist, whatever his name is. It just says the scientist. According to my map, there's two targets. They just popped up, though, which I think means they're far away. They have to be the edge of my radar. And yes, apparently right-click with your knife. Destroy these. Destroys these faster. Yes, it does. Oh, hello. Aw, is there seriously nothing down here? But it seems so promising. Well, so much for that. I think they heard me. Perhaps it was the extremely loud sound of me exploding boxes. One more. One more. Oh, I just saw one far in the distance. I don't think that was the one, though. Is that a person? No, that's a sign. Or something. I thought there was someone in the bush. Oh! Fucking Jesus! Yes. Eat the body, my rat. Eat it. Eat it. I believe in you. You can... Oh, never mind. Man, I thought I'd gain the power to command rats. I guess I'm not the rat lord. Also, by the way, you are fucking incompetent! Look at- look at this! Look at this! I'm not sure which one it was. I'm not sure if it was the shotgun or the TOS-34. Either way, both take shotgun shells. You are fucking incompetent. You can't shoot someone in the back from point blank with a shotgun. You... you Jesus. Disgrace. Wait, according to my map, there actually is someone there. Oh, there you are. Wait, are you... You having a break there? Psst, hey, hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. Hey man, I heard there's a guy around here shooting bandits. Dude, I heard there's a guy around here shooting bandits. What are you doing? Don't sit down. Get your gun out. Uh. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what? Um, okay. Anyway. These bandits. These bandits. They weren't just dropped on their head. They were like dropped from the Eiffel Tower on their head. Oh, come on. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Alright, there's a bunch more. I should probably use a med kit, actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's one. It doesn't see me. Is he looking right at me? Get him! Get him! Yeah! Yeah! Maybe I am the Rat Lord. 
Now's my chance. Now's my chance. Oh, they got him before I did. They're turning on me. I'm not the Rat Lord. Oh no. Where'd that guy go? Where did he go? He's juking me. Okay, seriously, where did you- oh, there you are. Come back here. There we go. Oh god. I'm just gonna keep going now. following me. Okay, we're up. Uh, oh. Okay, now we're good. Interesting looking place up here. Tons of anomalies. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an anomaly up there or if that's just a uh, very poorly constructed power pole and or line. Hmm, looks like there's an underpass here. I think I can go through. Oh god. It's a creepy little place. I don't think there's enough room for a bloodsucker here, though, so it should be okay. Food? Rat pie and sardines. Rat pie. Full of proteins and fat, this is really juicy stuff. Exactly what a hungry stalker needs. It's cheaper than any other food in the zone because it's made out of rats. However, if you closed your eyes and thought about chicken, you wouldn't know the difference. Mmm, chicken. Hello? What are you? A jellyfish. Hmm, not very good. Got some serious protection going on here. Hmm. That looks like an exit from the facility, not an entrance, though. I am curious what's in there. Of limits. If you want to get in, you need to convince me first. I could be very convincing. Go ask the bandits, why don't you? Oh, you can't. Because I already convinced all of them to die. <laughs> okay, I just sound like an idiot. Anyway, uh, what's your business here, stalker? I've been sent to help the scientists. Oh, he's a military. He does not like me, and I do not like him. They sent you? Well, you don't look like... Uh, you don't look much like a trained professional. Oh well, you may pass. But watch your steps, Docker. Jeez, he was easy to convince. Okay. Stalker! What the fuck? D Did he not just tell me to pass?
Let's try that again. What the hell? Okay, thanks for the tip. Okay, I'm entering, unarmed. Okay, it's because I didn't press thanks for the tip. That is apparently what causes the uh, script to trigger that makes them not shoot me. That's what happened. It's a grim sight. These people are really antsy. Do I have to go through the multi-staged door thing? Like you do in Call of Pripyat? Let's see. Oh, I think you do. Yes, you do. In fact, this is the exact same layout as the one from Call of Pripyat, although some things look a bit different. Yep, this is the same. This is where there's some bunk beds. At least there were bunk beds and some people to talk to. Looks like that's been changed. Oh god, the radio is too far away to reach. That's gonna annoy the hell out of me. Yes, Stalker, can I help you with anything? Sidorovich sent me. He said you needed some work done. Ah, yes. We've been expecting you, Marked One. This assignment is very sensitive in nature. Something I want to keep low profile if possible. I... made a deal with mercenaries so that they would acquire a certain package for me. I need you to go to their base in Dead City and recover the package. You only have to pick it up and bring it back to me in one piece. They've already received their payment. Okay, if I may, what sort of package is it? I am not in the mood to deal with some brain-sucking parasite or anything of the like. No need to worry. It isn't a live specimen or, orga or organic at all. It's research material dug up from an old laboratory in the north. I can't say anything else. Bring it to me, and I will reward you well. Alright. Dead city. Sounds like a creepy as hell place. What do you have? Artifact merger. Whoa! Combine artifacts. That sounds amazing. I don't have the money for it, but that sounds really, really amazing. Oh, look at this suit. Okay, hold on. Uh, what else do you have? I heard something about artifact experiments here. Yeah, I'm working on a process called transmutation. To merge artifacts, you need a specific handheld scanner free of any radiation. The scanner will allow you to merge artifacts, or artifact merging. Basically, this device will mix the components and put it into... Uh, you put into it and produce a new chemical compound. That chemical compound will then be exposed to sonic sound on specific frequencies. Finally, ultraviolet rays will cover the substance's surface. Oh, what am I talking about? Oh, we'll be fine, friend. Do you want to buy some recipes for merging? <laughs> I'll just be happy if it doesn't blow up in my hands. I took all possible precautions. Just don't try to mix this stuff yourself without my data, and you'll be fine. Okay, recipes? Many of them, of course, we uh, use them at your own risk because they're not certified. Hmm. Okay, unfortunately it doesn't tell me what they actually do. So it's kind of hard to make a judgment here. They're fairly expensive. Uh, let's, let's just get one and see what it does. Alright, Electra. Good choice for beginners. A very electrified and effective specimen. Alright, here's your money. Okay, um, I'm assuming I can only access the recipe when I get the merging machine. Right, do you have a job for me? Flash artifact or pseudo dog tail? Hmm. Let's find a pseudo dog tail. Sure. Alright, let's take a look at the suit. So, my current one protects me basically 50% on almost everything. This one, of course, has very good protection against chemicals, burns, stuff like that. Stuff you'd find around anomalies. 
Hmm. Let's see. But it's got very, very bad protection against weapon fire. So I'm actually not going to go with it. And I feel like protection against uh, chemicals and whatnot is not too important yet, because I can simply avoid most of those things just by not stepping in the anomalies. You know, in Misery it was more important because simply by being in the zone of artifacts you took damage if you didn't have the right suit. But in this case, you can just completely avoid it. I mean, I could go get artifacts without wearing anything. So I am not going to buy that right now. Oh wait, I can actually turn it off. He doesn't care that I just came into his place of work without asking permission. He's very accepting. I'm seeing some icons in the top left. One shows, like, a document. Nothing new there. Hmm. I'm moving up in the ranks. Last time I checked, I was like 600 and something. Now I'm the 501st best stalker. I'm coming for you, Dushman and Mad Dog. Uh, reputation is very good. <laughs> oh no, I'm enemies with these zombified. I wanted to be their friends. What is this? It's a download. Yeah, there's still st stuff popping up on the top left, like I can do something. What? I don't think any of this stuff's new. I've had these on me the whole time. And I don't see anything popping up here. Like, it would show up as green if it was new, right? Hmm. Okay, well, just gonna ignore it. Alright, Dead City. Where's the Dead City? It's up here? This is the Dead City. It just sounds creepy as hell. I'm assuming it's filled with zombies. Pseudodog tail? Well, I just need to find some pseudodogs, so... Can't really specifically hunt for them, just keep moving and hope I find some. Alright. Let's head to the Dead City. I don't even know why I brought up my map, it just shows you on the mini-map in the top left where to go. I think I gotta go around, though. Oh, wait, I can open this. Oh, hello! <laughs> Wouldn't it get kinda hot in there? Why would you stay in your ecologist suit? Haven't seen your face around here before. Report to Professor blah blah blah. Okay. You have a lot of money. Anyone of interest in here? Oh, door is bricked over or something. Well, welded over it looks more like. Okay, can I leave without people shooting me? Okay, good, I can. Alright, time to head to the dead city. 